So what happens now is that I have to uh, relocate this plank. It has to be to be put over here so that I can uh, start uh, preparing the gluing. All the planks have been uh, planned and um, and cut into shape, so uh, I can start up uh, building the box of the mast, so to say. So now I um, get started. That was quite easy. Uh, so now, of course, have to get all the the wood off and uh, and then start uh, priming the mass. But I first, have to see what is up, or actually what is in, and what is the outside. And um, you can do that that you just are priming the part where it have to glue together, and then priming the other side, or you can prime it all uh, at once. You just have to be aware that uh, it have to cure for at least three hours, uh, this epoxy at least, and um, if it's longer than 24 hours then you have to sand it. So it's a question, just smear it, uh, prime everything and then sand afterwards and take the dust collect, uh, collector and uh, clean it up or would you just prime it uh, by a couple of times? That's the question. So I just need to take a hand brush and clean it off so that I can get started. And also I need to move it like this. So Well, I have decided only to uh, to give it a little bit of uh, of priming, and then uh, leave the rest because it's less uh, sanding. But uh, here, I will need to sand, and there's a couple of places on this one I also need to sand. But I can just do it in the hand, and it's no bigger problem. When we are talking about sanding. Um, it actually doesn't matter who are the producer, but you really need to uh, use first class uh, sandpaper because if you buy uh, some cheap stuff, it's uh, just uh, epoxy, they are taking off the sand of the paper instead of the paper, the sand on the paper taking off the epoxy. So uh, if you buy too cheap, it's not gonna work. You need to buy. Uh, the best uh, sandpaper um, and then of course it's also going to last a little longer but still the epoxy is going to get very hot so you need to change the paper every once in a while and when sanding the big mast over there uh, with the machine I believe uh, uh, one piece of sandpaper for the machine was like one meter on the mast and then I have to take a new one on so it's um, it's a, you could of course maybe two, do two meters, but then you will take like four or five time much time to do it. So you just have to dig a, make a, a find out what's easier for what's better for you to use a little more money on the sandpaper to spend some more time. But I find that um, it's better to get uh, get on with the job. So.
you have to be aware that every kind of dust is uh, is poison. Clean wooden dust is also poison. So usually you will need to wear a mask, but when it's only a doing by hand then it's not gonna fly all over the place and it's usually just fall down and uh, then it's not a problem but if I was to use the machine here I will wear a, a mask uh, because it doesn't matter if you have the best boat in the world if you're too sick to sail it because you have destroyed your lungs with uh, with all kind of uh, of dust and uh, I'm not aware about how poison the epoxy dust is, but I'm pretty sure, sure that it's not uh, on the top 10 list on uh, healthy stuff. So, uh, better safe than sorry. So now I will, I'm ready and we'll need to mix some epoxy to prime the mast. So that is what I'm going to do now. So now I have been um, mixing epoxy with 10% uh, alcohol in and uh, so that it's uh, easier to go into the wood uh, and uh, make a better bond. So now I just have to apply it. So now I have primed the um, the the two planks that I have uh, that that are gonna glue together, but I have to cure for three hours. So uh, now I just uh, gonna let it cure and uh, do something else. And uh, then this afternoon I can um, glue it together, and it will be. And when that is done, I can take uh, the other um, uh, middle piece and uh, also prime it so that it's ready for gluing on on the other side and uh, nice <laughs> thank you for watching